a better customer service. Question, I beg your pardon. Question number ten, Hone Harawira. Kia ora, Mr. Speaker. Uh, to the Minister of Education, does she accept the finding of the Children's Commissioner's Expert Advisory Group on solutions to child poverty that a government-funded food program in low decile schools is simple, doable, and low-cost solution to help children in poverty learn and achieve at school? And the recommendation that government design and implement such a program, and if not, why not? The Honourable Heke uh, Mr. Speaker, no because it is neither simple nor low cost. The national government is already doing a lot in this area. We have increased the amount spent on hardship by almost 50 per cent from 2008 to 2011. We spent in 2011 $46 million on grants for food parcels. Kids Can has received um, funding from the government that has resulted in 4,500 children a day in 223 schools um, receiving um, food. We provide a fruit in school scheme which is available to all decile 1 and 2 primary and intermediate schools which results in about 97,000 students receiving a piece of fruit each day and we fund $174 million per annum through decile based resourcing policies. How does the Minister respond to the comments in the latest report of the Children's Social Health Monitor highlighting the fact that tens of thousands of children are being hospitalised for poverty-related illnesses, and does she agree that addressing the root causes of poverty will help address the problem she has identified as the one in five children not achieving their full potential at school? The Honourable Heke Parata. Mr Speaker, we know that the two um, best investments that can be made within schools to raise achievement for five out of five um, children is the quality of teaching and the quality of leading, and that, of course, other causes outside of school must also be addressed, and that is why our government is working on both. How then does the Minister respond to the views of the 300 children consulted as part of the expert advisory group's work, who listed as their top priority the issue of hunger and the importance of food in schools to enabling kids to focus and achieve at school, and the very strong support from the 1,800-plus individuals and groups who gave feedback to the expert advisory group, also recommending government-funded food in schools programs. The Honourable Hekia Parata. Mr Speaker, I respond by saying that of course it is a concern to our government and that is why we are working hard in education to raise achievement. That is why my colleague is working really hard in social development to support those families that need support. That is why the rest of this government is focused on how we build a strong and resilient economy so that we can have sustainable responses to these issues. Quit. A supplementary question to Cinder Supplementary Adair. to the Minister. Does she stand by the reason she gave for not supporting food in schools that, quote, the government is playing its part? In 2011, the Ministry of Social Development spent $62 million on food parcels, end quote. And doesn't this just prove the point that many families simply do not have to, enough to get by and are reliant on capped food parcels to survive? The Honourable Heke Parata. Mr Speaker, I stand by my statement that in 2011, $46 million was in spent in grants for food parcels, and uh, in 2010, $60.2 million. I am advised those are the figures. And the point it proves is that our government is prepared to make additional support available to those families that find it difficult to meet these needs. Um, and so, yes, I do stand by my comments. Question number 11, Chris Hipkins. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Education. Does she believe that her consultation process around the possible closure of residential...